So it seems like the world needs a third option. Yes. So I, 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 I think I will create a third option, um, although starting very late in the game, of course. Can it um, be done? I don't know. I think it's, we'll, we'll see. It's, uh, it's definitely starting late. Um, but I will, I will, I will try to create a third option, um, and that third option, hopefully, does more more good than harm. Uh, like the intention with OpenAI was uh, obviously to do good, but it's not clear whether it's actually doing good or whether it's. I, I can't tell at this point, um, except that I'm worried about the fact that uh, it's being it's being trained to be politically correct, which is simply another way of of being untruth saying untruthful things. Yes. So. Elon Musk is secretly working on a new AI company to take on OpenAI and other key players in the market. If you have been following the technology industry, it would have been pretty obvious that Elon Musk wouldn't allow the AI innovations to pass him without him getting a piece of the pie, especially given the fact that he was one of the key players in starting OpenAI in the early stages, in which he later left due to misunderstandings within him and other key stakeholders in the company. It will be interesting to see what will he working on and how impactful these projects will be for the industry. In this essay I am going to focus on Elon Musk's journey through the field of artificial intelligence, and the probable scenario that led him to start X.AI. Elon Musk, being someone who has always been in the technology industry throughout most of his life, he has always been interested in key technologies that will have an impact on society. For example, after he left PayPal, he started to work on rockets. Then he bought his way into Tesla and pushed the company forward. Tesla today could be seen as an AI company, because their autonomous fleet of vehicles are practically run by artificial intelligence, and they have some of the best persons in the field working for them. The rhetoric started to increase in the early stages of the 2010s, when he noticed the improvements taking place in the field, and the sophistication of the technology. A key insight that bothered him was the fact that if big tech controlled AI, it would be game over, because they would be the ones that call the shots and monopolize the industry. Companies such as Apple, Google and Microsoft were among the giants of the industry that really spooked him, and he needed to find a way to find a counterbalance to this issue. The counterbalance plan for this issue was OpenAI. OpenAI was co-founded in 2015 by OpenAI by Ilya Sutskever, Greg Brockman, Trevor Blackwell, Vicky Chung, Andrej Karpathy, Dirk Kingma, John Shulman, Pamela Vigata and Wojciech Zaremba, with Sam Altman and Elon Musk, serving as the initial board members. The company focuses on artificial intelligence research, with the aim to advance digital intelligence in the way that is most likely to benefit humanity as a whole. They do this by openly sharing research papers, data, and software. Despite OpenAI ambitions at the time, three years later in 2018, Elon Musk felt like the company was behind the key leaders in tech such as Google and AI innovation, and the company was being steered in the wrong direction. One of the solutions he had for this issue was to take control of OpenAI. It was also to be noted at the time that Elon Musk had a lot of projects on his hand. Tesla and SpaceX at the time was really in need of Musk to steer operations. That also played a role in his departure from the company that came afterwards. This idea of wanting to take control of OpenAI at the time never really garnered any interest in the company, and that plan never came to fruition. He left the company in February of 2018 to focus on his other ventures. While he was leaving he also poached one of the main engineers at the time from OpenAI Andrej Karpathy, who later left for Tesla to push the autonomous driving technology forward. Andrej Karpathy resigned from Tesla in 2022, and later went back to OpenAI. Little more than a year after Musk's departure from OpenAI, the company announces that they are going to be a for-profit company, due to the fact that training AI models takes a lot of money train, especially at industrial scale. This strategy made a lot of skeptics unease about the transition, but from a technical standpoint it makes sense. Google and others spend billions in training AI models yearly, and OpenAI needed the money and resources to compete with the big players. Altman also at the time never took any equity in the company, which was pretty strange for a CEO in that position. Even some investors at the time were considering whether it made sense to invest in the company, if the CEO doesn't seem like he is truly on board. That same year Microsoft invested $1 billion into the company, which was a massive bet for Microsoft at the time, 
and showed that they believed in the team working on the project within the company. At the time the company was working on a language model that was inspired from Google's research paper on the transformer architecture. A year earlier they released GPT-1, then in 2019 they released GPT-2. GPT-3 was released a year later in 2020. In November 2022, OpenAI finally had their huge breakthrough success. The release of ChatGPT was a major turning point for the company. ChatGPT released with a lot of fanfare and became the fastest rising internet product in history, with millions of users flocking to the platform to try out the language model. Essentially users saw it as a chatbit or a personal assistant that can do question answering create articles and solve other problems by communicating with it through a natural language format. It is a really interesting technology that has triggered a stream of innovation that is taking place today. At the start of the new year, Microsoft noticed the success and potential of OpenAI and decided to invest another $10 billion into the company. This caught the interest of Google and other players in the industry. This deal will steer OpenAI under the umbrella of Microsoft. They are planning to use this technology within their core products. Chat technology has already been integrated into Bing for example, and it has garnered a lot of success in that area. OpenAI's success after Musk left seems to have made him uncomfortable. Given that he is no longer spearheading the company that is impacting to the overall artificial intelligence community. On February 17th, he tweeted OpenAI was created as an open source, which is why I named it OpenAI, non-profit company to serve as a counterweight to Google, but now it has become a closed source, maximum profit company effectively controlled by Microsoft. On March 15th, he tweeted, I'm still confused as to how a non-profit to which I donated $100 million somehow became a $30 billion market cap for profit. If this is legal, why doesn't everyone do it? In April reports came out Elon Musk was merging Twitter with a shell firm called X Corporation, according to an April 4 legal document filed by Twitter in a California court. CEO Elon Musk apparently confirmed the news by tweeting the letter X. The change was only discovered in documents related to a lawsuit filed against the company by Laura Loomer last year. Although it's unclear what X Corporation might entail, there's probably a connection with Musk's plan to create an everything app called X. He envisions transforming Twitter from a social media platform into an app for everything from booking tickets to sending messages to making mobile payments. Musk called his purchase of Twitter, and thus its user base, an accelerant for the creation of X. He also owns the XCOM domain and has set up several Delaware-based companies with variations on the name X holding. Business Insider released a report which gives details as to what is currently happening at X.AI. They claim that Elon Musk is actively purchasing thousands of graphic processing units GPUs, to power an upcoming generative AI product. The idea is compete with firms such as Microsoft and Google, who are heavily invested in their generative models. Musk wants to be in the midst of the current changes that are happening in the AI space. He doesn't want to be left behind. During an interview with Tucker Carlson on Fox News, billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk revealed his plans to develop an alternative to chat called Truth. Musk visualizes this new AI as a maximum truth-seeking alternative, which he believes is important to prevent the potential destruction of humanity. According to Musk, a different approach to AI creation is needed, and he hopes that truth will be the solution. An AI that cares about understanding the universe is unlikely to annihilate humans, because we are an interesting part of the universe. It will be a very interesting to see if Musk succeeds in his initiative, given the huge head start others are having in the AI space. It will be an interesting battle among the giants.